Leafcutter ants are highly destructive pests common in the southern United States, especially in Texas. These ants form massive colonies of over millions of individual ants and are capable of destroying trees and shrubs overnight. These pests are mostly a concern in rural and agricultural areas, but some homeowners have growing concerns of these ants on their properties. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of leafcutter ants so you can protect your trees, shrubs, and ornamentals. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about leafcutter ants, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Leafcutter ants, also known as parasol ants or town ants, are typically a dark brown or reddish brown color, and all the workers from the same colony can vary from 1 16th to half an inch in length. You can tell leafcutter workers from other ant species by the spines on their head and thorax, and they are frequently seen carrying leaves or other vegetation. Colonies of leafcutter ants are notoriously large. Many nests are known to reach a 50-foot diameter, running about 20 feet deep. But if left alone for several years, leafcutter ant colonies are known to take up over 6,000 square feet of area. A single, well-established colony can form multiple ant mounds in close proximity to each other. These mounds can be 5 to 14 inches tall and about 1 foot in diameter, with a single entrance hole for each mound. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Leafcutter ants are found primarily in rural or agricultural areas in and around the state of Texas and parts of Central and South America. They are a growing concern for homeowners in residential areas, but leafcutter ants typically will not invade indoor spaces. Check outdoors for ants or signs of activity. During cooler months, you're more likely to see active leafcutter workers during the day. During summer, leafcutter ants are known to strip down small to medium-sized trees overnight. To differentiate leafcutter damage from other pests, you can inspect targeted plant leaves for distinct, circular cutouts. Leafcutter ants prefer to establish colonies in well-drained, loamy soil closer to bodies of water. They'll create distinct foraging trails leading from a burrow entrance. These trails are stripped of vegetation and can be several hundreds of feet long. Be on the lookout for ant mounds and trails, and take note as these features will direct your treatment. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of leafcutter ants, you'll need to use a non-repellent insecticide like Dominion 2L. Because Dominion 2L is non-repellent, ants will not be able to detect the insecticide as they pass through the treated areas and spread the product to other ants, creating a systemic elimination of the entire colony. We recommend you use a 1 or 1.5 gallon hand pump sprayer since you'll be making localized treatments. To treat leafcutter ants with Dominion 2L, you'll use a 0.05% to 0.1% dilution ratio in 1 gallon of water to treat 1,000 square feet. That's 0.3 to 0.6 fluid ounces of product. Use 0.6 fluid ounces if you're dealing with a heavy infestation. To mix Dominion 2L, add half the water into the pump sprayer, add your measured amount of product, then add the remaining half of the water and close the sprayer. Shake the sprayer to agitate and pump a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Once your solution is ready, you'll need to treat any mounds with a drench treatment. First, spray around the diameter of the dirt mound to prevent ants from escaping. Then, spray the mound directly until it is completely drenched. Also, treat any foraging trails you may have found by spraying along the path with light pressure. Be sure to treat each mound, entrance, and foraging trail you found during your inspection so every ant that travels through the treated areas will pick up the product and transfer it to other ants within the colony. Do not allow people or pets near treated areas for several hours. Check the weather ahead of time and make sure to treat on a calm, clear day. You should notice a significant decrease in ant activity after several weeks. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Total prevention of leafcutter ants is difficult, but you can keep ants away and discourage activity from your property with regular inspections and treatment. Walk around your property at least once a week to see if any ant activity has been re-established. If any mounds have been spotted, immediately conduct a mound drench application with Dominion 2L. Under normal weather conditions, Dominion 2L will leave a residual that can last up to 90 days. Be sure to treat quarterly to protect your property year-round. 
Leafcutter ants are highly destructive ants capable of stripping trees of all their leaves. But there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop leafcutter ants from destroying your property, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.